Justin here with DayTradeMasters and BitcoinTaft.com. Today I want to talk about just how easy it is to take control of your crypto and practice self-custody. In this video, we're going to be walking through setting up a Ledger hardware wallet. Step one, navigate to Ledger's official website. This is the only place that is safe to buy a Ledger device. Next, we want to select a device. So they only have two different options. They're very similar. One has Bluetooth, one doesn't. When your wallet arrives, make sure the package and seals have not been tampered with. The next step is to download the Ledger Live app. This is how we can navigate and manage everything on our wallet. Once you have Ledger Live downloaded, you will connect your Ledger device and walk through the Ooh. steps. Eventually, you will see this screen set up as a new Ooh. device. You'll be asked to create a four to eight digit pin. The more numbers in your pin, the more secure. Using the top two buttons, you'll be able to create your pin. Once your pin is created, you'll be asked to write down your recovery phrase. Simply follow the steps, write down your 24 word seed phrase on the supplied recovery sheets. Very important, this is your only backup to restore your accounts if something happens to your device. Once you have written down your seed phrase, you will be asked to confirm on the ledger. All of these words stay off the computer screen, offline, and we navigate directly on the device itself. Once you have confirmed your seed phrase, your device is ready to rock. This is where we can jump over to Ledger Live. Now we can start adding different apps to our device through My Ledger. One of the main security features that Ledger has is always authorizing using the device. Before adding any apps, we always want to make sure that the firmware is up to date. Once updated, we can start adding the apps, which essentially will be our wallets on the device. Simply find the app that corresponds with the crypto you're looking to hold on this wallet and click install. Then we need to bounce over to accounts and add the wallet. You then have the option to give your wallet a unique name, just in case you have multiple wallets for the same cryptocurrency. Once the wallet has created, we have the option to receive crypto. And this is where we can transfer our Bitcoin to our new wallet and practice self-custody, store that cryptocurrency in the safest way possible, utilizing the security of a hardware wallet. Follow the on-screen instructions and away you go. Down at the device, you will see the address as well, so we can confirm what we're seeing on the screen is correct compared to what the device has stored in it. And there you have it. In just a few short minutes, we were able to set up our Ledger device and transfer Bitcoin from an exchange onto a wallet that we own the keys to to practice self-custody. This is the suggested storage method for any crypto assets that you are holding long term, not planning to trade. Remember, any crypto that lies on a trading exchange is in a wallet that you do not own. Not your keys, not your crypto. For more education, tips and tricks, follow and subscribe to DayTradeMasters and BitcoinTaft.com. Share this information with your fellow crypto holders and keep your crypto safe. Happy trading.